peace with you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us dive into the Word. Today's Gospel is taken from Matthew chapter 9, verse 35, to chapter 10, verse 1, 5a, and 6 to 8. It speaks of Jesus going around, preaching, teaching, and healing. But looking at the crowd, he had pity on them, because they were like sheep without shepherds. And Jesus said, The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So he called on his twelve disciples, gave them the authority and power, and sent them out doing the exact same things that he was doing. And for my reflection today, I'd like us to focus on these three things. Okay, Number one, all vocations are important. I repeat, all vocations are important. There are some questions that came to my mind when I read the verse when Jesus said, The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Pray to the Lord of harvest for more laborers. First of all, why does Jesus, God, even need disciples? Right? Wasn't he omnipresent? Can't he just do his thing alone? The answer is, Jesus in his human nature is not omnipresent. Imagine yourself, a human being, handling 5,000 people in a crowd alone. Crazy, right? Likewise, Jesus being God in every way are also human as we are. He will experience tiredness, hunger, thirst, and pain. Therefore, he needs disciples to run the day-to-day -day activities, to grow the ministry, and to, and to continue where he left off when he ascended to heaven. So, you and I, no matter what vocation we are in, religious, single lay person, or married, play an important role in doing God's mission. And besides, God has placed you exactly where you are right now for a reason. You have a circle of friends that I could never possibly reach out to, and vice versa. Number two, you have superpowers. Yeah? So some of you might be laughing like, say like, Ayah, Esther, what nonsense are you talking about? Eating movie, man. Well, I kid you not, when you are baptized and confirmed in the Holy Spirit, you have been given the authority and power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of diseases and all manner of infirmities. This is what Jesus said. Yeah, read the gospel again. And lastly, number three, salvation is for everyone. Salvation is for everyone. It's always in our nature as human beings to seek something greater than ourselves and to seek love. But many people are seeking it in all the wrong places, resulting only in pain, suffering, and sin. We, on the other hand, as Christians, we know the truth and that something greater is God and God is love. So, if you know the truth and the truth that can set people free, why not share it? It's just like a promotion that you saw in a supermarket. Wow, good deals! And you want to share it to everyone you meet so that they don't miss it, right? So, wait, isn't our God way greater than the good deals in the supermarket? In fact, believing in God is a good deal. The greatest deal ever. His promise is eternal life and life of perfection with Him in His kingdom. So, I encourage you to share this greatest deal to your father, mother, brother, sister, grandpa, grandma, aunties, uncles, cousin, brothers and sisters, your neighbors, your friends, everyone. Because why not? Yeah? And that's my reflection for today. And if you can remember the things that I've mentioned earlier, just remember that God has a great purpose for you. A purpose that only you can fulfill. Yeah? God bless and have a great day. Bye!